Xavier Porter, Shoot the Five, live and direct with the one and only Phoenix Legrand. We are we are here today at the Urban Action Showcase and Expo. What brings you out today, Phoenix? Love, family, events, everybody. You know, I, I'm all about promoting love. I'm an ambassador of it. And this is where you can find it, the hub. New York City, martial arts society, everyone is in here. Tell, tell everybody out there about yourself. About me? Yes. I'm the Phoenix. It's all about rebirth. Again, I'm all about love. I'm all about promoting positivity wherever I go. Always smiling, saying hello to people that don't want to say hello to me, but I'm forcing them to say hello. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm that guy. <laughs> tell everybody how you got started in martial arts. Incredible story. As a lot of people know, I, I was um, a, the son of two martial artists. Both my mom and dad were martial artists. And my mom comes from a family of 15 kids. Um, eight of them did martial arts, including my mom, so we were just brought up doing it. What is it about martial arts that, you, that just stuck with you? Uh, tradition. Uh, uh, tradition is a lot of, th tradition is something that's missing in the family today. Tradition is missing in society today. There's, there's a lot of people that do it, but it's missing in a lot of places that's needed. And um, tradition has helped me to grow. It has helped me to expand and to be who I am today. What does martial arts do for individuals who take part in it? Like, what's the whole purpose? Before I tell you the whole purpose, a lot of people go to martial arts because they love that glam of it. They are a lot want to learn that self-defense. But what martial art truly is, it's an outlet that learns or that teaches someone to learn about themselves. So it's more about knowledge of self and understanding who you are, and martial arts helps to bring that out through tradition and the certain protocols that it has. What type of martial arts discipline do you take part in or you practice? When I first started, my, uh, my, my mom and father started in Taekwondo, so of course that's what I started in, but slowly developed into Kung Fu to start. It's not until I got into my early teens that I was introduced to a Japanese system. So, coming up into the martial arts in three different Korean, Japanese, Chinese, I decided to put together a martial arts system called Lost Legacy. And what Lost Legacy basically is, is certain in important aspects that's, that's lost in the martial arts brought back into more of a traditional African family value. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Now, a couple of weeks ago, you won an award um, at, with, with Zab Judah's father, Yoel, and things like that. Can you tell us about that community service award? Man, it, it, it's amazing, you know. Thank you to the Judah brothers, um, Coach Yoel, Zab, all the other brothers, thank you. I guess what, basically what happens is, you know, when you do good to, for your community and, and you focus on the youth, youth remembers you, you know. People say, you know, how does somebody become legendary? How you become legendary is by putting in work, being an ambassador of what you do, and loving what you do, and then showing it to others and sharing it with others in the world. For continued support, or if people want to come out and maybe learn and train with you, how can they reach you? They could go on to my website, www.lostlegacysystems.com. You can find me on social media under John Phoenix Legrand, two words Legrand, L-E-G-R-A-N-D, and then all the other outlets, you'll find me there. Thank you for your time. We'll see you soon. Yes.